Look at it. Ow. Do a little tent review. <laughs> Dear Gazelle. Dear Gazelle. So, uh, these tent stakes really suck. You put any pressure at all on them, they bend. And then, then, so you're in the middle of a raging windstorm. Well, first of all, trying to get that tarp underneath of the tent during the windstorm was impossible. So we just got rid of it. But, uh, so this is what happens. You try to use your foot to push in the stake, it bends, gets caught in the eyelet here, and then as you're trying to pull that out so you can put in a new stake, you rip the the eyelet off the whole freaking tent here. So that's fun. Luckily there's more of these on the sides, so it wasn't a big deal, but yeah. Anyway. Other than that, it's a pretty cool tent. It goes up pretty quick. You definitely have to tie it down in the wind because the wind collapses these. Making things No. Actually, uh, I just got an email. <clears throat> when we bought the tent, they didn't have a footprint. So I just bought a tarp that fit the same size. Thor! That's not your butter. But the holes in the tarp are not big enough to hold the stakes. So that's why we couldn't stake that down last night. Yeah. But I just got an email. They've got a new version of this tent called the Overlander which I think is the same tent, but it comes with a waterproof bag, which I wish that one was, um, and different tent stakes, I believe, and I think it also comes with a footprint. That makes sense. Now, I don't know what, where you wouldn't need a footprint. Like, why is that an overlander thing and not a... That's an any camping thing. Yeah. You put it down on any surface, you want a footprint. Well, like, we have all the... We didn't see it last night, but there's all these little, like... I have to see things come out of the ground that I hope didn't, didn't on. Yeah, and the floor, we've patched many holes in the bottom of this floor already. Yep. So, we've only so used it, what, four or five times? It's not the sturdiest floor. I mean, it's not an expensive tent. So, sure. anyway, but that's not a big deal. We just put duct tape over them and they're fine. So, I think I might order the waterproof bag. And see if they'll do anything about the ripped off. I don't know what they can do. <laughs> Replace the tent. It actually looks like it came, the stitching came undone. So we might be able to just have it restitched okay. if they won't do anything about it. So, anyway, that's uh, the gazelle tent. It's fast unless it's windy.